Hey guys, thank you so much for joining in. Guys, in this particular video of WordPress series, we will be understanding how you can take a backup of your WordPress website using cPanel. I have heard most of users query that they wanted to learn how to take backup WordPress website backup using cPanel so that they are not dependent on only WP admin dashboard. So in my example, I have a website which have WordPress installed and a theme also installed. If you have your website, how big or how small it does not matter the procedure will remain same so let's say i want to take the website backup of this website it is right now in wordpress and this is the cpanel of my wordpress website now there are two steps to take website backup using cpanel that is number one to take website files backup and number two to take wordpress database backup so first for the website files backup all you need to do is go to file manager click on file manager once you click on file manager, you will see public underscore HTML, double click on that and you will see all the WordPress files here that are currently in use. Now you need to download them all, but you, if you download them one by one, it will be too time consuming for, so for that we will click on select all and now we will right click on any of the option and then we will click on compress. So first we will create a zip folder of the uh, entire website so that we can download. So click on zip archive and then compress files. Now it is creating a zip file of all the files which are available and it is done. Click on close, refresh once and you will see whatever your first folder is in your hierarchy, the same folder name will be given to the zip file. In my case, it is CGI bin dot zip. You can say right now it is 71.92 MB. So this is my WordPress website file. So click on download, right click on download and it is start it has started downloading the web wordpress files so this is part one of the website backup now let's move to the part two that is to take the backup of wordpress database for that come back to the cpanel this time you need to search for php my admin php my admin click on php my admin and this will redirect you to the PHP my admin on the left hand side you will see all the database if you have only one website then the name of the database will be like this so you don't need to download information schema or performance schema these are by default options you the third thing you will see is your database name now how to check whether this is the right database or not for that come back to the file manager open your WP config or WP config sample dot PHP right click click on edit and check the database name. So from here, you can see the database name here, match this name with the database name here. Once it is matched, click on the database like this. And from here, you will see an option called export. Click on this export option. Now here you will see quick export and custom export by default. Quick option is selected and you can keep it as it is not a problem and format will be SQL. That is absolutely okay. Click on this export button. Once you click on this export button, now database will also be exported. Now you can see the database file. It depends on the website size, how big the database or how small the database. But once you get the database backup and the website backup, both the backup with you, then you can say that you have complete backup of your WordPress website using cPanel. And now once you have this backup and in case your website goes down or something goes down, then in that case, you can use these files to again restore the backup.